now we are uh, going to renew the butterfly valve the reason why we are renewing is uh, the valve is leaking so we are renewing it so actually when you are uh, renewing a uh, butterfly valve all you need to keep in mind is that you have to keep a proper size butterfly valve in standby so this butterfly valve is in between uh, two pipe spools so we are removing uh, by opening the bolts so renewing a butterfly valve is uh, very simple provided if you are having a proper size of butterfly valve so now we had removed the bolt and we had taken the butterfly valve out so before installing the butterfly valve in place you have to check for the surface for this uh, butterfly valve only thing is we don't need to have a gasket because this uh, butterfly valve by itself have a rubber coating of gaskets and before installing the valve as i always say just check for the operation open and close the unit and confirm there is no damage in the surface and opening closing is properly happening so we had checked it so this is the complete open position and now we are going to check the closing operation so closing operation is also perfect and indicators is perfectly matching with the open and close position so now all we need to do is we have to install the new butterfly valve in between two pipe spools so usually the problem that we face when we install a butterfly valve between two pipe spools is will be having a disturbance means a lack of space like uh, uh, you may need to have some 2 3 mm gap which we won't get easily so what we need to do is you have to connect the chain block and connect the chain block hook with the pipe which is holding the valve so now we are going to install the means we are going to fix the chain block in one of the girder and uh, once we fix the chain block and the hook will be belted with the pipe so the idea is when you hook the uh, now you can see we are going to fix a belt over the pipe which is on the line and uh, you can see uh, we are fitting a belt and we hook the belt with the chain block and we will lift the pipe like if we are not going to lift more we will give a small pull so that we will get a gap of 2 uh, 3 mm which is more than enough to insert the butterfly valve between the two pipe spools now we are lifting earlier you had seen the butterfly valve is not going inside now you can see the butterfly valve is going inside very easily just a small lift we are lifting and little more lift yes that's all the valve is going between the two spools very easily so once the valve is in place you have to fix the first fix four bolts which is fitted with the valve you can see the lugs four lugs for the butterfly valve so fit all the four uh, butterfly valves and one more thing that we need to keep in mind is you can always fit the butterfly valve only in closed position you cannot fit it in open position because the disc will be in way so you cannot insert so now we keep the chain block and the belt in tension and we fix the four bolts once you fix all the four bolts um, okay now we are uh, still fixing it after fixing the four bolts in all the four lugs then you can loosen the pipe means loosen the chain block so now we are uh, going to 
loosen the chain block so that uh, we can remove the tension of the pipe so all the uh, four uh, nuts not four bolts has been installed and the other bolts are, are also being installed so this is how we have to install okay so two more bolts are remaining now once all bolts are in place and after we ensure everything is working then you can remove the pipe from tension like you can slacken the chain block so this is uh, how you have to renew a butterfly valve when it is in way of two spools and uh, you won't be having access to lift the pipe because of the u clamp so at that time you have to remove the u clamp first and then fix the belt and uh, lift the pipe using chain block i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to remove and uh, refit a butterfly valve on board ship so once we are done we had removed the chain block and everything so that's all this is a little information video thanks for watching if you have any doubt uh, please post in comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching thank you all